St. Matthew's House in Naples is known for providing housing for the homeless and food for the hungry, and now they're doing their part to help wounded veterans by training some four-legged friends as service dogs. Following the Corners Call Fortier, showing you why the program may be helping the trainers as much as the vets. This is the, the alpha class right here. Jason Cross is in the addiction recovery program at St. Matthew's House and he's getting a little help from man's best friend. You know, the dogs seem to be uh, extremely intuitive. Uh, you know, they're able to pick up on emotions when you're stressed, when you're happy, uh, and they feed off of that. Jason and four others at St. Matthew's House are learning about love and patience by working with five dogs who will go on to new owners after about four months. Jason is training Chief to be a service dog for a special ops veteran with PTSD. A wounded warrior coming back from multiple combat deployments tends to be very guarded, very anxious, and the dog is a comfort to them. Jason says the comforting seems to come from the dog's own intuition. For now, he's going over the basics with Chief. Reinforcing the fundamentals again with them to heal, sit, stay. Anthony DiStefano is training Justice to help someone who's hearing impaired. He credits the chance to train service dogs with giving him a new sense of purpose. I have more invested now in my recovery as far as before it was just me, now it's me and the dog. It's a really, really heartwarming and humbling experience. Anthony and Jason agree. As hard as it will be for them to eventually let go of their canine companions, the reason makes up for it. For them to have a better sense of peace and a sense of well-being with these dogs is something I'm very honored to be a part of and so that gives me more motivation to keep going in my recovery. And will help somebody else on their own road to recovery. In Naples, Carl Fortier, Fox 4 in your corner. Carl says the training program is a partnership with Guardian Angels Medical Service Dogs. Founder Carol Borden says more than 90% of the dogs go to veterans.